Ow. Ow, you walked right in front of me. <laughs> Whoopsie. Gordon Freeman's best friend here. Crowbar. Ooh, take it. That boomer just blew. Oh, Jack. Ah. What'd you take, the Took... Scott H? Yeah. Alright, I'll take the shot then. Oh, I did not know it was like a three burst. Yeah, unfortunately. If you're looking for a full auto, you might want to go for the AK or the M16 here. Oh, well. I was about to say M60, but yeah, you get that in that game as well. <laughs> I think my game just froze. No, it says you've got. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I'm just. I. I don't know. I dropped to like zero frames, and then. I don't know. I just sped up like super fast. Mm, weird. Oh well. I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, Molotovs. Yeah, but you I might want to take one, unless you've got... No, you've got yeah. pipe bombs, so I'll take one. Do you want to set up anything, or do you just want to go ahead and get this going? Well, maybe setting up these gas cans so that they can... Yeah. So, uh, have you got... Oh. Oh, dear. That's a tank. <laughs> Listen very closely. Oh, I hear him. About to get it, shot up, though. Yeah, I, I just saw the tank noise and appeared on my full caption, so... Huh. You want to go in the minigun? Uh, no, I don't really like it. Okay, cover me. I'll go see if I can set him on fire. Oh, okay. Got Molotov to spare anyway. Oh yeah, you got plenty. Oh wow, that was damn my it, bad. It, and it, a it, jockey it. jumped on me. That was just not good. Actually, I think we'll set him on fire after this horde. <laughs> yeah. um, go out there and throw my pipe bomb now. Might as well. Okay, we can get underneath it now. Splitter. I. Run, run, oh, run, run. Oh, and here he comes. See if you can loot him oh. somewhere. <laughs> Come back down. And run, run. going back up. Uh. Ah, into the fire. Oh man, I'm... He's not on fire, he's not on fire. Run, run, run. I'm on fire. The elves. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Uh, you want to take the Molotov then? Yeah, I'll come take him. And you're gonna get Bell to heal you. <laughs> oh no, paper cut. Right. Healing. So <laughs> the AI work. I've got some ammunition up here. So we're we going to talk about the topics that we suggested are. <laughs> um, I don't care. It's up to you if you want to. I mean, by all means, go ahead. But well, this is a dual commentary, so each person has to have their own input. <laughs> I guess. Another magnum down here if you want it. Nah, I like the sword better. Yeah, actually, no, I'll take it. Oh yeah. Keep on shooting you, my bad. <laughs> no, that was my fault. Um, I let go of the control button. <laughs> so, how did you start getting into PC gaming? Um, basically, I just... I don't know, I always kind of wanted to just play on the PC just because I knew, like, graphics would be better and there was, like, better games in my opinion at least, on the PC. And then, basically I saw, like, uh, SMDs. I don't know if you watch him. No, um, I'm 
not familiar with the name, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I don't know. He's just a really funny guy that basically just plays on PC. And so he showed me, like, or kind of showed uh, what all, like, cool games they had on PC and stuff. And so I wanted to play some of them. Yeah, that's, that's oh, fairly obvious. Tight. Then it's, uh, I think it's how most people will transfer from uh, from consoles to PC. Yeah. Well, I got into PC gaming basically from the start, from watching my dad play really old games like Unreal Tournament and this um, stealth-orientated game called Thief, where you basically were trained up and then ran around, ran around and stole items. Mm. And I... Oh. And I deliberately remember when um when I was about seven. Oh, that was almost bad. I deliberately remember when I was about seven. I was um, watching my dad play Thief, and it was like really far into the game where it's not only guards you have to deal with, but it's zombies as well. <laughs> nice. And I and then I just decided to ask him if I could if I could. Uh, if I could play um, Unreal Tournament, which, if I remember correctly, is a 15, when I was 7. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> weirdly, he agreed, and that's how I started getting off into PC gaming. Yeah, well, I the first game I ever remember playing was uh, a Star Wars PC game. I don't know if you ever played uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight. Like, oh, I can't remember it. Knights of the Old Republic. No, it was. Hospitals just past um, the waterworks. It was Dark Forces, I think. It was oh called. yeah, I played Dark Forces too. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, was, I think that was the, actually the first game I ever played. And I don't know, I I would always just play that. Me and my brother would take turns playing that. Uh, <laughs> we would each get like an hour to play. Yeah. Reloading. So it's... then, what? Bill just shot me for no reason. I jumped in front of him. He just shot me. Well, you look kind of zombie-ish. <laughs> it started off with Unreal Tournament for me, and then gradually, when I got older, my parents let me play other games, you know. So then I started yeah. to get into real-time strategy, like Age of Empires and Age of Mythology. And I still play Match. them, <laughs> of course, as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, like, I want to say when I was like 10 or whatever, I would just play uh, the Lord of the Rings RTS game. Oh, yeah. I would just play that like all day. That was just so much fun. And then they made like the Xbox port, and that was just terrible. Yeah. Well, then again, just... there was the, the, uh, the also the fighter port, where, they, where you played as just one person. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't really think RTS games will work on console just because there's so much, like, just it's just depth those, It gets to the game. so complex, doesn't it? Yeah. So I I don't see you know, how they could... They tried it with Halo, with Halo Wars, and yeah, that was really just, it just did not work. Yeah. It's a good idea, it's just it doesn't work with a controller. It's, a good, it's, it's good in theory, but... When it comes to practice, the consoles just cannot handle it for the fast-paced yeah. stuff, which is basically what all RTS games are. Yeah, and it's like getting down like all the little hot keys and stuff, and you can't really do that with the controller just because yeah. there's only a certain amount of buttons. Unless oh. they like, they could like get really in depth where you like hold left trigger, push A X to do this thing, but I think that would just be too confusing for the people just playing it for yeah. casual. Well, I do assume there is a bonus to that, of course, then it evens the playing field quite a lot. Yeah. No. Oh, I just got a bad ping spike there. Oh, yeah. Um, probably my dad or brother got on the internet upstairs. It's alright, man. I can play with this. I normally play with about 150 anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I feel. Sorry for you, uh, <laughs> European and also like Asian yeah. uh, players, just because there's not as many servers on those countries than there are on the uh, <coughs> United States, so it's kind of unfair, but I don't know. Like, I've been uh, trying to play 
or I don't know if we're trying to play something or we're just kind of trying to play something.